Okay, this footage of the film is from the McConnell uh, family and the Muffets and everybody. It's 1966. There's Cockpen Church, the scene of many a wedding. There's Cockpen Dairy. And Mum and Dad were visiting with Irene and Eric, with young Irene there. Then the baby in the pram is Alison. And my dad there is with Lachlan. There's Jean. Uh, and then we go to Mount Skip. There's Uncle George and Aunt Lizzie at the front door of their house. Uh, Lachlan's playing around there. Lachlan, my brother. And Ian's at the back. There's Dad just joining the frame. Lachlan still want to play around. Uh, Mount Skip was located in Gore Bridge. Quite a big farm. Uh, although I've got to say myself, I have never been to the house, but um, Nanny and Grandpa used to frequent there because... The nanny was George's sister, so we spent a bit of time up there. Right, now we go to uh, Justin Lee's Dairy, the Justin Lee's Dairy beside the Justin Lee's Hotel, and at the back there, Jean Ferguson with Carol and Joe, uh, Uncle Jack's granddaughter, saddling their horse, and Jean giving each of them a free ride, a view uh, of Auntie Grace again, uh, getting orders at the back door and then she's caught again with a crate of milk going into the shop a view of the front of the house with the shop at the side uh, and uncle jack is cutting his hay and loading it into his lorry so we've just gone a wee bit ahead so we'll just wait for that there's lachlan waving there there she is running into the house now the man cutting the hay That'll be Uncle Jack. There's the front of the house, and we always discuss this in Old Midlothian. Yes, there was a shop in the front, just down from the Justin Lees. Here's Uncle Jack cutting hay and loading it into his lorry. Uh, with Uncle Jack is Will Rayburn, his manager of his other place, Sheriff Hall Dairy. Now, this is Mary Rayburn's son. Do you remember her? An old age pensioner who, I've got to turn it over to read, who goes along for the ride in the lorry and watches out for the traffic. Now here we are at Last Wade, at Lord Deasy's Bray, coming down to Last Wade. There's the garage my grandfather built in 1964. As a 64 year old, that was a nice job for him. There's Grandpa Burns, Nanny Burns, Lachlan and Ian and at the back of their flat which was joined on above the garage the original garage at the front uh, and coming down past the big house which was called Nansvale Ellum Row Last Wade. There's Nanny Burns. Now that's him at the, at the back door there coming down and you'll see a little side entrance and that for a long time used to be rented out upstairs you went to Mrs. Kelly. Now here's Nanny and Grandpa at the front of the garage. The pumps used to be there where they're just walking, but because of the traffic getting busier, Grandpa decided to move the pumps up a wee bit and knocked a few houses away. And one of them he made into a garage. He was the first in last week, what were the first, I think, in Midlothian to do MOTs. He was also uh, did all the wiring of houses around uh, Bonnerig, Poulton Hall, and he also did weddings in his Daimler at the weekends, so he was a busy man. Uh, Grandpa sold the garage in 1970. There's our dog, Tim, a border collie. Now, this is Mary Kirk playing around with a young Lachlan there. Now here's Waverley Crescent in Bonnerig, here's Doreen Burns or Doreen Kirk, Arthur Kirk, Linda, Pat, Carol, and the wee boy in the pram is Robert, and that's, there's uh, their border collie. And here's the Whitsons, Billy Whitson, Vina, Davina Whitson, Margaret, and young Stephen. Stuart, of course, wasn't born then. And then from here, we move up to Dobby's Road. This is 11 Dobby's Road. And there's Ian in the front. My dad coming forward. There's David. 
Lachlan sucking his thumb and pulling on his ear, my mother, and Tom McConnell, yours truly. As I said, this is um, just in the summer of 66, 1966, 11 Dobby's Road, Bonnerig. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that little bit of a treat. If there's any more questions, please leave uh, any information you want. And we'll see if we can answer it all. I think I've got all the names. I was reading it from the piece of paper my mother left with the film. It's uh, a real treasure chest. Thank you. Hasty Bob.